echo cancellation. So when we are speaking about analog lines, uh, the problem of the echo is uh, always arised. Uh, as you know, echo always exists. It's created on the remote side. So if we are speaking Let's say asterisk. Here we have telephone. It doesn't matter what kind of telephone we have, analog or <coughs> SIP phone. On the remote side, we have analog telephone. Okay, so echo is created here. And uh, usually the echo signal is heard by uh, asterisk user. <coughs> uh, if we have here digital line, so all of this path is usually echo free. So there is no uh, analog equipment on this path and echo is not created until it uh, voice uh, gets uh, to a part of uh, uh, to uh, analog uh, socket like telephone, uh, like analog telephone device. Why echo is not created here? Because we send bits, the same bits go through the line, so it's all, everything is digital here, okay? <coughs> now, why sometimes we hear echo and uh, uh, sometimes we don't hear it? Echo always exists. When we speak to analog telephone, echo always exists. But if this speech path has small delay, so I say hello, and echo of hello comes back to my ear very quickly, it doesn't uh, affect my feeling. Okay, so uh, I feel like I hear it myself. So it's okay for me. But if uh, echo comes uh, after uh, I know 200 milliseconds will be delay between I say hello and I get it back okay and this uh, hello will be considered by my brain as echo and it will affect my feelings <coughs> so what can create this delay here for example, some text fonts. So, uh, signal uh, text fonts creates a delay between the base station and uh, actually the telephone tube. Uh, it could be here, for example, uh, some uh, part of uh, uh, telephone trunk uh, goes. Uh, via radio stations or where, uh, you know, uh, cellular stations, etc., etc. So all of such things create delay and uh, eventually we get echo here, okay? So how we can fix this problem? First of all, uh, Asterisk Daddy has uh, software echo cancelers. Uh, as you know, we install on our servers uh, Elastics that provides uh, open source echo canceller that called OSLIC with it. Uh, this echo canceller is very good, so, so it uh, actually works very well. It's adaptive echo canceller, uh, and uh, it performs much more better than standard MG2 uh, echo canceller that you get when you download and install uh, Daddy from uh, Asterisk uh, site. Uh, but the problem with OSLIC is that it provides echo cancellation only uh, maximum to uh, 32 milliseconds of uh, the echo. Uh, it is enough in 99% uh, of cases, but sometimes it's not enough. And uh, then the problem may be solved, uh, I think, only by hardware-based echo cancellers that provides uh, echo cancellation for longer uh, echo 
details uh, like 128 milliseconds. Uh, by default, when you define in the asterisk configuration echo cancel equal yes, it means that echo canceller is configured for uh, 16 milliseconds of echo cancellation. Okay, so if your customer complains about echo, the first thing that you can do immediately just to define in, uh, to write instead of yes. Uh, 256. Okay, so it will be echo counselor equal what time? Uh, 256. This will increase the echo cancellation tail up to 32 milliseconds and it uh, will solve the problem in most of the cases. Okay, uh, if it doesn't help check which echo counselor is used. If it is used MG2 echo counselor, it worth trying OSLIC echo counselor. If the customer doesn't have already prepared daddy packages with OSLIC, there are very simple patches that could be applied to uh, standard daddy uh, uh, sources and uh, it's very simple and easy to get daddy with OSLIC support and install it. If nothing helps, uh, customers uh, have to wait until Xorcom will release uh, hardware based echo counselors that I think it will be soon, really soon. Iran will Talk about yes. Yeah. <coughs> mm -hmm.